Okay, what's up guys? This is a hopefully quick little review of the new Core Class Starscream. So I've got him in robot mode right now, so let's take a look at him. Alright, here we go. We got his little guns on the side there. We got a head swivel. We've got ball joints at the shoulders. We've got ball joints at the elbow. Okay, that is probably my only little nitpicky complaint is that the guns tend to pop off pretty easily. Other than that, he's pretty fun. We got ball joints at the hips. We got ball joint at the thigh, but it can really only twist outward. If you twist it inward, that happens. So not a big deal, just something to keep in mind. So there's pretty much all the articulation. Um, if you were like me, you were kind of wondering how does he compare to... Oh, and the wings can do this, so... You know, the wings fold back like that, or fold up like this. And there you go with the guns popping off. So I'm just going to set these off to the side for the moment. They're getting on my nerves. Let's just set it off to the side. So there you go. Now, like I was saying, if you're like me, you were wondering how he compares to his uh, older counterpart, I guess. So there's Legends class Starscream right there. Roughly about the same size, different designs... This one's more like the IDW aesthetic. This one's more like the original G1 cartoon. Unfortunately, this is the only one in this style that we have so far. I picked him up on a whim to see, are they going to come out with Thundercracker and Skywarp like they normally do with this mold? What, what are they going to do? So that's why I picked that up. But there you go. So same size as that one. Transformation is actually really interesting. So let's get into that. All right, so the first thing we want to do is turn our arms this way. That will come in to play later. We can go ahead and uh, tab there, slot there, put the legs together. Your little back fins here can come up and they'll kind of clip into place. These will fold out this way. There you go. All right. And the upper torso is where things get interesting. So this actually... The front section will actually come undone, like so, and we're just kind of moving those wings out of the way, like that, and then again on the other side like this, and then this head section will come down, the little fin thingies, uh, well this will come up and then those will fold down like that. Then what you're going to want to do is spin this entire back section 180. So get all your stuff out of the way here. There you go. It folds down like that to get everything out of the way. And then that will spin like this. Then we will come up and sort of collapse that together like so. Okay. Then this piece will straighten out like this. Uh, you, you don't have to, but you can turn the head 180 and then fold it up into there, and then, you know, that just keeps his face from looking at you from the bottom. So there you go. Uh, then you're going to want to bring the legs back like this, and this will kind of tab into the back of the knees there, so like that. All right. And then this will fold around like this. I think uh, it sort of slots over the knees here. So, yeah, you'll feel it click into place like this. And there you go. It can be a little finicky, so just kind of fiddle with it. Let me get that better on camera. I'm off to the side. So there's a tab there that goes into the slot there. You can see a little bit of the paint rub there, but not that big of a deal, I've noticed. So little bit of a paint rub, but not that big of a deal. Okay, so there, and then again on the other side, like so. Okay, that's all, everything folded up, and there's his jet mode, and you can put the uh, guns back in. You don't really have to take them off during transformation, but like you saw, they kind of pop off easily for me, so that's why I did that. So, there you go. And pretty nice little jet mode, pretty cool. I'm digging it. Got the little Decepticon logos right there. It looks very much like the G1 cartoon stuff. Pretty fun. Not bad at all. That's what he looks like from the bottom. 
And you saw the uh, Legends class Starscream, so he's roughly that size. Hopefully that gives you an idea of the size. Pretty standard Legends class stuff. But now we're going with Core class, so whatever. So, there you go. There is Core class Starscream. And there's his little jet mode, so... Alright guys, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.